What's going on guys? This is Taib again and this is about like 1 1 45 2 p.m. ish and I'm doing another show for you guys. Now we are talking the Air Jordan 1 High Varsity 85. The shoe was designed by Peter Moore and it's a reinterpretation of the original band colorway that came out in the early 80s. Now this is going to be released instead because there was supposed to be another one that was supposed to be releasing but Nike chose to bring this on the market. So I, I liked it. I mean, the shoe looks great. Comes with a lot of perks, a box and a dust bag and all kind of stuff with it. This uh, little card on the side here, the hang tag. Good looking shoe and it's numbered. Now I know a lot of guys, I wanted to do a, a prediction on the numbers produced, but as I was like gathering information on like the, the stock is, I was told, I found an article that said they made 23,000 pairs. So I'm like, what's the point of me wasting my time trying to beat my head up when I, uh, the number is already out. So I'm just going to go ahead and, and, and I say, well, you know what, since that's the case, I'm just going to go ahead and just do resale on it. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to talk about the resale. The shoe looks great, as you can see in the pictures that I showed you. And just a quick background, you can go back and talk about it. But now I can tell you who's getting it. Some of the things that I found, like the international uh, stores, cakes uh, and sneakers and stuff, and offspring, one block down, that's in Italy, Foot District, 43 Iron Harp. All this is like in the national locations. And a lot of them are doing raffles. And they, in the USA, I mean, Nike's going to get it. But Foot Locker and Finish Line are getting it in stores. Now, Foot Locker, I don't know. But Finish Line, I know it's going to be in stores only. So, again, when I was doing my investigation, I came across an article that said 23,000 pairs. So, for me to even attempt to, like, predict, it would be ridiculous. You know, you don't do that when you have the information given. So I went ahead and I just talked about the resale value. So I went and collected my data. And man, 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 this is probably the best shoe in February, if I'm not mistaken. Like, when I looked at the collective uh, data that, that I have, like between the 17th of February to like today, it's crazy. Like, 786, that's just that one day, all the way to like 8, 841. So that means there's a positive trend. The shoe is actually gaining in value. I mean, it did drop a little bit here, but don't, don't mind that because now we're back up again. It went from 786 to like 841. So this is a positive strain. I'm thinking as time passes by, this shoe is going to continue to go up and up and up. This is a good shoe, guys. And the overall, like, average price was 781. That's a 234.9% markup. This is incredible. Best shoes I'm thinking in February. This is crazy. Tax time. You know, people are going to have money, so you go out there and you sell it, you're going you, you gonna to get some. Now, the price distribution, like I say, explains everything. Like, you can see the average price has a positive trend. Now, I can also show you what sizes had the best uh, return on your investment. Look, like, sizes 8.5 and 9.5 and had the highest margins. 885 and 895, everything else is just as good. Even this, the, the worst size is still great, like... A size 9 was 681. It's still good. That's still like almost a 200% markup. So you'd be crazy, not, you know, not to get your hands on it for resale purposes. And for those that want the shoe because they want it, it's going to be super hard to get, I think. I'm not even going to try to get it because I'm not going to waste my time. So like I say, like sizes 8.5 and 9.5 and and or 9 and half yield to the highest margins. But every other size is just as good. So it's, all, it's only going to depend on what you can get your hands on. And there you have it, folks. So if you want to know how many pairs, 23,000 based on, you know, the, the what people are saying and who to, where to get it, you can get it from these people. Or I'll show you on my website. You could buy it now on eBay if you just want to grab the shoe and wear them. They're right here. There's a bunch of guys that are selling it. All right. There's a lot more things that I wrote this week. So if you've missed it, uh, go back on the website and look at it. This article was talking about, um, I did a recap on the best um, uh, real versus fake on the Air Jordan 1 Off-White NRG. Like, I don't want to do these things anymore, especially for certain shoes. Like, this one is it's, it's just too hard to, like, detect. So I, I did a comp um, compilation of the best comparisons that I've come across. You might want to check that out. There's some good guys here that have done an excellent job. And I will encourage you to, to go and check it out. All right. Again, thanks for watching. This is Ty from Master Kicks and stay tuned for more stuff.